Because they chop all the yeah. all the like little. Yeah. When you want to you remove you you tie your 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 legs. Your legs are yeah. like yeah. this. You do like that, then they you do like that. Come from. <laughs> oh. So then, for how long? Three, three, three months. months. Three two months. months. You hold your legs up like this. Yeah. Uh, ah. Yeah. Start you make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and every time you go to give birth, you have to be cut, opened up. And uh, so you can do it several times, and if it is not stitched back properly, you, you, you have that part of the body open, and it can cause uh, what we call uh, suffering from uh, fistula. So most women who are the winter of the they suffer from fistula conditions. I'm lucky I didn't suffer, but it is not easy. So when I read it that stage, I said no girls should suffer from what I have seen others suffer and also what I went through. So I developed a curriculum. And I call it a curriculum of Tumdanele. Tumdanele is a is a is a localized um, terminology. It means a alternative right of passage. So I said if we provide we provide alternative, the girls can be trained to be women or others because that is the belief of the FGM. Uh, they can be trained without uh, undergoing it yet. So we are, we are uh, preparing the mind. In 2000, I want to produce a paella. That's my target, so that I can have as many girls uh, as possible. Bath attendance, traditional bath attendance, and the previous circumcisers, we retrain them give them their training in the new room. Then we bring them over so that we can train together. If we leave them out, they'll be sneaking in yeah. and sneaking out the apps for circumcision. So we train we retrain them and then we bring them over to work together. Because in the traditional uh, system where girls go through a gym, they, they once they are cut as they heal they are given some uh, training. So they are trained in their cultural values, the culture of the community. So that is the one. And that is what I put in our curriculum. I say we we'll train them. We are not cutting them, but we we'll train them following the traditional curriculum. And then in step two, I taught them about the body changes and growth and development. When a girl develops, when she reaches a certain stage, she develops breasts, she gets uh, her periods, and then uh, she grows up, she expands this way, and then she is ready to get uh, children. Uh, three, level three, we take them through courtship and uh, uh, relationships with men. Okay? When, when, if they have sex with men, what happens? Tell them that so that they know the consequences. Then we teach them about taboos, about respect, about discipline. Those are the things that we have put in this curriculum. And then we talk to them about empowerment. How do they get empowerment? They get empowerment through education. So we tell them first and foremost, you must stick to your education, you must go through the education system primary, secondary school, university, so that you get that empowerment. You get to build your career and you are an empowered woman. And uh, so that is the only thing, that is, that is what uh, made uh, our, our community to reduce FGM. Now it is reduced. It is still there, but it is reduced. We are the winners.